Hell yeah, I just found one of the woods I lost on the side of my bed the other night. Hell yeah. That was like three nights, four nights ago. I dropped that bitch in the middle of the night. Whole wheel couldn't find that bitch. Mm -hmm. I found that bitch this morning. He said, flooding that bitch up as soon as I got that bitch in my hands. I'll, I'll scoot the bed over. I'll, I'll look for the whole woody right there. You moved the crock over you from the wood? Damn. <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> I mean, they bless me. It's my lucky day. I did. Uh, let, let me smoke one of these before we get going. Huh? Nah, but uh, I was drunk as fuck one night. Like, down to wood, perfect wood, fat as fuck. Put it in my pocket. I went outside. I go kick with my homies. I was going to spark it. I went to reach in my pocket. That bitch was gone, bro. Oh, we couldn't fucking get that going like that. Lost that bitch eyes. outside, bro. <laughs> I, I just gave up. I never real find it. And it's like it's like when you sometimes you lose some of the best weed. It's like damn, you knew that shit. Like damn, that was my last batch of that, of that, of that good shit. And you'll lose the blunt, or you'll end up dropping the weed. They be uh huh. Fuck, dude. I did that the other night. Had at least half a blunt, or fuck, probably a full blunt on a tray. Knock the tray off the fucking desk. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. This damn. Be, this would be a lit ass little interview right now. Mm -hmm. Like then they right here just getting high. We rolling. Okay. Oh, we yeah. are rolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This gonna be cold as hell. Cause ain't nobody really done this for real, for real. Sat back and it's because people have the you know wrong I, fucking view at it, bro. They don't like. I don't know. They're more trying to get clickbait shit out of it instead of trying to figure out the, about the actual person. But see, exactly. the thing is, what I noticed about the fans, they like, they 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 like the interaction with well, a motherfucker sitting down and survive. Cause y'all gotta think about it. Majority of the time when they watching all this shit, they clicking on this shit. It's they they create their own little vibe. Yeah. Motherfucker be in their own little space in their crib. So it's like, how can they vibe if, if we ain't vibe? Motherfuckers getting that uh, we uptight as hell throughout the interview. Everybody uptight from from the person that's getting interviewed to the motherfucker who doing the interview. Mm -hmm. It's like you know. You know, it's crazy because I, I had a question on here that says, what's one thing you hate about interviews? That's it right there. Like, when, <laughs> when I got... Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a people's person, bro. Mm. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a people's person at, at heart. So it's like when I do come out to do certain little shit, you know what I'm saying? If everybody uptight, I'll be like, man, fuck that shit. I'll, get, I'll actually get up and go. Um, bro, I, I, I'd rather not be there. Because um, if, I, if I'm nervous, then... It, it, I'm unpredictable on folks' grade. And if I'm unpredictable, that means the next man can be un unpredictable just as well as me. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just separate my shit from that shit. Man. And plus, I know I got too big to just be doing anything in that front. Yeah, you gotta watch your shit now. Understandable, for real. <coughs> Damn. Because, like, that tension, that's what you're talking about, right? In the room? Like, you can feel that shit. You, you can't if you think it's here and then it, it make motherfucker. You'll be like, uh, uh, uh. Now I gotta overthink about what I'm Literally, saying bro. because I'm, I, I ain't at ease. But when I'm at ease, motherfuckers, motherfucker can tell an interview where, like, oh, damn, he went on his P's and Q's in the interview. Mm. And motherfucker can tell the interview is like, oh, right there, if I'm expecting something to happen or just just the, just the, the, the blogger or whoever I'm doing the interview with. To say something crazy, cause granted, I'm not gonna react in no crazy way, not on camera, because I, I'm still a grown man, for You know how to compose yourself. I'm mm -hmm. still a man, for in in order to for motherfucker to really understand the way to anything, for you gotta you sometimes motherfucker have to take a take a second and just stop and just stop and think, cause a lot of times don't nobody think. Nobody take the chance to think we just jump yeah. out of action. Cause motherfuckers feel like shit. The action, the action speak louder than my words. That's true. But sometimes your words can speak louder than your actions because your words can your words can affect somebody just as well as you putting your hands on them physically. Do you feel like the bloggers like twist a lot of things, try to bend it out of proportion to from what it really is? Yeah, sometimes. Some, some, sometimes a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They go about they craft in the wrong way because you know, man, I ain't. I, 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 I'm not just pointing a finger at people. 
even with me, you know what I'm saying, it took a minute for me to understand between, you know what I'm saying, my street life and me as an artist. Mm. Because sometimes my street life can affect what I got going on as an artist, right? So, people got to think like, okay, if he, if I'm thinking like that, then people got, other people got to think on their level. Because they might not be an artist, you know what I'm saying? They might not be, they might not be in the same shoes I'm in, or you're not even in the same bracket, right? Yeah, that's lane. Lanes, because that's what lanes was created for. Everybody got lanes for a reason, no problem. Mm -hmm. And sometimes motherfuckers be, I'll stay in your lane, stay, or motherfuckers be finding something safe to do. Sometimes that's, it could be, a, it could be a good thing for a motherfucker to tell you stay in your lane or find you something safe to do. Because now you, because some people out here. I say that to say this, because some people, because I got off top. So I say that to say this, some people don't know their lane, bro. And without knowing your lane, bro, you can put yourself in harm's way. And sometimes it don't even be you. It could be the motherfucker you with that get harmed. And then, then what? You Now you got your friends. This could be a motherfucker you love to death with everything that's in you, right? Mm -hmm. And something can happen to him. Which, how you think his people don't already feel? Yeah, granted. Motherfuckers still show you the the the, 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 the grief love. But when the, when the grief love over with, motherfuckers gonna look at you like, oh, you was the problem or it was your fault. That's why I say motherfuckers gotta understand and stay in their lane and shit like that. You feel like they're trying the to bloggers. Play, you feel like they're trying to protect you at the same time as well? Like just really just kind of like look out for you? Yeah, when a motherfucker tell you stay in your lane, like if a motherfucker, if, if a motherfucker say they fuck with you and they fuck with you the way they supposed to fuck with you, and you, and, you know what I'm saying, they see you stepping outside your lane, bro, as your friend, as your homie, as your brother, whatever, as your roadie, as your dog, your partner, you supposed to tell me like, hey, bitch, well, you, 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 you slacking on this, or you ain't doing this, you ain't doing this right, you need to pick your head up on this, you know, that's what, that's what, that. That's that's a friendship, that's family shit, that's brothership. Uh, I heard another question on here too. Um, but with the bloggers, yes, sometimes the bloggers do get people hurt. To answer the question. And just for some views and some money. Just for views and views and a couple dollars. Yeah, so one of the questions on here I also had is like what's your definition of loyalty? My definition of that. <clears throat> I have I have a sin tattooed on my on my on my collarbone. It say blood make you related, but loyalty make you family. And loyalty to me is I because I have I I got a loyal and a non loyal side of, of me, and this is me speaking like the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because how you expect me to be loyal to you? Like I say, for instance, I ain't gonna speak on nobody else's situation. I'm gonna speak on my situation, right? Yeah. I was loyal to a, to a nigga. You feel me? Yeah. And every chance he got, he downplayed me to the next motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah. But in reality, when it came down to the overall fact, a motherfucker couldn't do nothing, no harm to him. A motherfucker couldn't say no foul upon that man's name around me. And I never do, and I, and I won't, and I won't do this. I, when it come to his name and his name being used in the fame of any, I would never use his name in the fame and downplay him because this my homie, this the nigga who I say I'm riding for. In order for me to really mean that and stand by that, just because I'm with someone else, that don't mean oh they talking about them. They got us, out, they got me outnumbered right now, but they talking about the motherfucker who I'm with, who I say I'm loyal to, who I say my dog, my homie. Yeah, I can sit back and listen, but I can also speak up as a man because we men, right? We if, if, if before anything, we all are men, right? So if I'm sitting back and a nigga sitting right here, he talking foul upon a motherfucker that I have with me, I'm gonna speak up. You know what I'm saying? Right? The motherfucker be like, "Oh, it ain't your place to speak up." Ooh, ooh, ooh. you could have just sat back and feel back and listen to what was going on. But as a man, I feel like I'm fool. It's just just to sit here. And if I am just sitting there listening to a, what a motherfucker got to say about my homie, I'm sitting there listening. You see what I'm saying? And the truth be told, he could be saying something about you in the same crowd when you're out there. Them. And that's what, and that's what, and that's what this lawyer come in at. And people gotta understand that loyalty can't be in a lot of ways with friends and family, foes, all that shit. Cause you got, you gonna have some enemies that's loyal to. You. 